welcome to your Scholar Sound Lab. The objective of this video is to provide guidance to first-time users on how to make the best out of Scholar simulations. This video talks about learning objectives as well as operational controls to easily navigate around the simulations. This is how you get started. Before beginning the experiment, remember to click the eye on the top right corner of your screen to understand the objectives of the experiment. It is recommended that you read through them before starting any and all simulations. Start by pressing down the left mouse key and move the camera to get any desired position. Use the L, T, e, R and F buttons to get the left, top, right and front views. Use the zoom slider on the left hand side of your screen to zoom in and out as required. You can begin the experiment by clicking on the power button on the speaker. Our next step would be to lower the bell jar by clicking on the small orange knob and dragging it down. Following that, click the air volume in bell jar slider and move it around to increase or decrease the air volume. Now, let's see how sound travels in water. First, click on the water button on the blue box down below. Go ahead and switch on the sound system again to watch how the sound propagates in the air. Increase the water level and immerse the speaker underwater. Now, by clicking on the W button, you can immerse yourself underwater as well to listen to how sound propagates underwater. Louder than normal, isn't it? Next, let's explore how sound travels in a solid. Switch on the hammer by clicking on the green button at the start of the hammer. You will see two waves, a green one and a red one. Observe which one travels faster. Use the little rewind button to slow down the process. This concludes your sound experiment on the Scholar app. This is how sound travels through different media. Check out more simulations on the app or on the Scholar website that is www.scholarlab.in.